According to Uptime Robot, the average website is down for three hours every single month, and the cost of that downtime varies greatly. The more money a company generates through their websites, the more that downtime costs. So you can go ahead and calculate what that cost would be for you or your clients. Some of the most common causes of website downtime include traffic spikes, server overload, software bugs and compatibility issues, cyber attacks, hardware failures, and poor hosting. The consequences of website downtime include loss of revenue, damage to brand reputation. Imagine a client tries to get to your site and it's down. It's not a good look. Or if a client's site is down, they won't be too happy with you. Decrease customer trust for the same reasons I just mentioned. SEO penalties. If Google finds websites are down for an extended period, it starts deranking them. Recovery costs. A lot of downtime is caused by temporary things and your site just comes back up by itself. But if you have to pay to have a hack cleared up, for example, there's going to be a cost associated with that. Speaking of recovery costs and damage to brand reputation and customer trust, remember that Windows CloudStrike update that cratered the internet recently? Computers went down worldwide. And it's a huge mess to clean up because they have to manually update all the computers to fix them. It's a crazy amount of work. And Crowd CloudStrike has 29,000 clients around the world, including major hospitals, airports, governments, big businesses, and they all went down. Even the giant TV screens in Times Square Garden showed the blue screen of death. Now you have to ask yourself, is that going to affect Windows and CloudStrike's reputation? Are CloudStrike corporate customers going to be asking some pretty tough questions? The answer is yes to both. As of this recording, the issues are still ongoing and it's estimated it could take weeks for all the computers around the world to be back online. The cost of this outage is easily going to be in the billions or tens of billions of dollars across all those industries that those computers and those people were working in. Me personally, I'm not at the Windows Cloud Strike level, and I don't think you are either, but I think it illustrates my point. Having computers go down and having websites go down costs money and affects your reputation. Some of the best ways to reduce downtime include choosing a reliable host, utilizing a content delivery network, also called a CDN, so your website's distributed over many servers around the globe, having effective traffic management in place, meaning a server that increases resources during traffic spikes, and regular software updates and maintenance. And that last one is tough. Although it's a best practice to make updates when they become available, the Windows Cloud Strike issue was caused by a routine update that shut down much of the world's tech. This is the reason I don't update for months after updates become available, but I'm small time. I think big corporations focused on security need to make updates as they become available and they can't wait long because often there's security patches and big companies, big consequences. Me, small time, smaller consequences. You have to update your software, but then updating also carries risks as we saw with Windows and CloudStrike. All those steps to reducing downtime that I just mentioned, those can all be solved by having a great host. For this video, I'm gonna use CloudWiz as an example because they are a great host and they do all these things for their customers. Before I tell you all the things Cloudways does for you, this is a great time to like the video if you're getting value and subscribe so you don't miss any future ones. So Cloudways offers a Cloudways autonomous service, which has a high uptime guarantee, offers scalability, strong security measures, efficient resource allocation, and 24 seven customer support. Some of the key features that Cloudways autonomous offers include Cloudflare Enterprise, Object Cache Pro, backup and restore functionality, high availability, load balancing, auto scaling, multiple PHP versions, unlimited PHP workers, so your site runs as smoothly as possible. If you want to check out Cloudways, go through the link in the description down below. It will take you here. It is an affiliate link, so if you end up buying through that link, I do get a credit for that, and they send me a commission, but it does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos for free. And if you go through that link, right beside the link, you're going to see a little code down below in the description. Pick any server that you want, fill out this form, and for the promo code, type in WPLAB25, and that will give you 25% off the first three months of your Cloudways account. Better than nothing, so check out that code. Once you're logged into Cloudways, you'll come to the dashboard here. Cloudways Autonomous, which is what we've been talking about throughout this video, is on the left-hand menu. Click on that, and click on My Applications, and you'll be able to add a new application right here. Fill out the short form. I'll just call it WooCommerce test site for the name. Pick a server that's near where you live because that'll make the website faster. I'm going to choose WooCommerce and click on Add Application. The application is being set up. It's going to take about three minutes. I'm just going to pause this video and I'll come back when it's finished. 
our applications online. If you click into the application, you can see all kinds of information to manage your website. If we go to performance, we see that Object Cache Pro is enabled and integrates with your WordPress site and the dashboard, and it makes your website load way faster by having that on there. You're also integrated with Cloudflare CDN. That's turned on automatically. If we go back to our overview and we click on this little button here, or even this link right here, it takes us to the live website. You can see that the URL is a crazy one. We can change that by going into Manage Access, Domain Management, and we can add your own custom domain right here. You're gonna have to change your name servers or your A record in your domain name registrar, and Cloudways will give you instructions to do that. And then your domain name will be this instead of this crazy URL here. And there's also fake credentials that have been created. So here's the username, here's the password. So this new site here, if I go to WP admin to find the login page, I don't think I'll be auto logged in. We enter our username and then we enter the password, log in. And of course we can change these in any way we want. This is just what was auto filled when the account was created. Now on the dashboard, you can see WooCommerce is installed. We're not gonna customize WooCommerce and build a full-fledged store here. We just wanna test the autonomous server that we created here. And one of the ways we're gonna do that is out the sites online, we can send dummy traffic to it. So we can see how the resources auto scale, or at least how the, how the website responds to a heightened level of traffic. In order to load test our site, at least as much as we can with the free version of this app here is we actually have this app, which is Grafana or K6, send fake traffic to the site. So it's gonna load the, the web page and close it and load it and close it lots of times over a short period of time. So then we'll see how it responds. This is probably not something that you wanna do yourself, but if it is, you can go to grafana.com and sign up for a free account. Once you're in your free account, go to performance and then or testing and that synthetics, performance, then projects, and create a new project. I created this one for a previous video and this one right here for today's video. Click into that project and then create new test. And it'll show you how to install it on whatever system you're running. I already have it installed on my current system. So I'm just going to open up the file that you need, which is this one right here k6-load-test.js. You can name it whatever you want as long as you load it properly in the terminal, which I'll show you in just a minute. So we have a project ID, so we gotta get that. So I'm gonna copy the project ID from up here or right here. I have a handy copy button there. So we'll paste the project ID in there and we need the domain name of the website. Paste that right there and then save. You can change the duration. You can only have 100 users at a time. That's what this number is right here on the free version. So we're just gonna keep all that as it is. I'll change the name to testing123. Now we're gonna run this script on our computer's terminal and load test our site. Instead of terminal, here's the command that I wrote. This is given to you by k or Grafana as well. So don't worry too much about it. Hit enter and now it should start running. So here we have 100 users, one of one, 100 of 100 are currently on the site. And it's running iterations, our site. If we go to it, even though it looks like nothing happening, there's actually all that traffic hitting the site right now, loading and opening and closing and unloading and everything for 30 seconds. And the site itself seems to be functioning just, just fine. There's no crazy slowdowns, nothing's breaking, even during this traffic hit right here. And when this is all done, right now it's unloading all the users. Once this is down to zero, the test will be done. And then within about 15 to 20 minutes, we'll be able to see some data, hopefully, inside of our Cloudways account. So once this is finished, we'll check in our Grafana account to see what the results are, because it'll show you if there's downtime or if there's any issues. Here's some more data about the entire run right there as well. Inside Grafana, if we refresh this spot here, we should have some test results. Still finalizing tests. We'll just wait for that to finalize. 
And the test results are green. If there are any issues, it would probably show as red. Having a solid host like Cloudways Autonomous can prevent all the issues that we discussed at the beginning of this video, including loss of revenue, damage to brand reputation, decreased customer trust, SEO penalties, recovery costs, and all it takes to solve all of those is just having a good host. So you should have a good host. And if you want to check out Cloudways, there's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you click through that and end up buying a Cloudways account, I will get credit for that. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos for free. And there's also a coupon code. The coupon code is WPLAB25, all one word. You put that in at the time of checkout and you get 25% off of your hosting account for the first three months. So check it out. This is a great time to click like and subscribe if you got value from this video. And next up, check out this playlist right here. It's all about Cloudways and getting the most out of their platform. So make sure you check that out. And until next time, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.